We are about there, buddy. We are about 10 miles away from Medina right now, and uh, we get to start hunting in the morning. But tonight, we're gonna go over and see our buddy Billy Yargis. He's actually doing a seminar for all the kids. And Woodhaven, uh, we've got calls there for every kid. So it's, um, it's gonna be a good time. And anytime you can get 100 kids in the turkey woods in the morning, that's pretty special right there, so we're glad to be a part of it. But uh, anyway, we're fixed to get unloaded here at the motel, and get all the gear kind of situated. That way we're ready for in the morning. Then we're going to see Billy, go do the seminar. And uh, tomorrow morning, there's gonna be a whole bunch of kids with a big smile on their face. And one of them's gonna be right there in the back yeah. seat. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see y'all at the seminar here in just a little while. And uh, we're gonna get unloaded and get set. It's almost go time in North Missouri. We're on the way to Billy's and a big old galver standing there all by himself. Ha. You wanna go back and look at him? We'll be late soon. Yeah. When I could see him back there just a little ways further. Hey, that's a good thing though, he was by himself. Yeah. see Billy down here getting set up and I can tell you this Woodhaven is proud to be a, a small part of this but from what I understand here in a second there's gonna be a hundred plus kids in this church and they're gonna to get to hear a seminar and some testimony everything that's good in this world is gonna be here tonight I promise you we've got the 2022 Nemo chapter youth turkey hunt here in Hannibal, Missouri. We're doing it at the Crossing Church right here on Broadway. Uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a turkey hunting seminar and uh, a friend of mine, Josh, he's going to be uh, sharing his testimony and then we've got lots and lots and lots of prizes. We've had DSD give us some decoys. Woodhaven really took care of us on uh, a lot of the calls. A lot of our locals, Grassy Creek Gang calls to uh, give us some box calls. So we have, a, and Mark even give us some beef jerky. Them kids will have something to take to the blind with them in the morning. So we also got a pop-up blind. And tomorrow, we've actually got seven 410 Stevens shotguns with red dots mounted on top of them that we're gonna give away. We got seven of those that we're gonna draw for tomorrow. So uh, all the kids are very, very excited and Woodhaven giving us enough mouth calls to where we can give every single kid will get something. Everybody's gonna at least get a mouth call and hopefully several of them will get a turkey tomorrow. And another thing you can do while you're purring and clucking is if the turkey can't see you, you can also scratch in the leaves, and there's a certain rhythm to that. If you get on YouTube and you find, a, say, a feeding hen, just put in feeding hen on YouTube, you can usually find that where a turkey, where the hens are actually feeding and they're, and they're scratching, okay? While you're doing the purring and clucking, a lot of times, that's the one thing that's going to answer the question that most people have. What do you do when you get a hung up turkey? One of the things is that scratching in the leaves, that is killer. I'm telling you that I've been walking before trying to sneak and you're walking and the leaves are so loud and you're like man I gotta be quiet now all of a sudden a turkey gobbles is about 60 70 yards from me I had that happen to me uh, not too far from my house I had a place where I wanted to go check out and start going up over this hill it's a pretty steep hill right before I got to the top of it I'm, I'm trying to be very very quiet and as I'm slipping up through there all of a sudden a turkey gobbles and he, this bird isn't 60 yards from me Immediately, I just sat down beside of a tree, got my gun up, and got ready. And when I started looking at the gospel for really what it was, Jesus changed my life. And at that point, a few short months later, I made the decision to get baptized. And that was the biggest decision of my life. That was the biggest thing Jesus changed in my life. And since that day, really, I haven't looked back. Anyway, uh, let's give Ralph a big hand. Rob came to me, and he wanted to get this thing going. 
And he said, we need to get kids out in the woods that don't have the opportunity, whether they don't have a gun, whether they don't have somebody to take them, you know, not a mentor to be able to take them out hunting, whether they don't have a place to go. Let's, let's have a youth hunt. And we started this, we was at, what, Hester Church back then, and we, we was doing a dare. There's a lot of people that was involved with a dare. Uh, we ended up moving down here, and we're still doing it. Ralph said we've been doing it 12 years. I honestly couldn't remember how many years, but I know it's been several. And we've seen a lot of kids go through it. I want to thank you for bringing uh, your kids to do this. I think it would be something to be really life-changing for them.
beard, don't he? He's scared to touch him, are you? Boy, you tore him up, didn't you? That's a good spot, too. Oh, yeah. 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 What do you call buddy? the close of the first morning. We just had a hen a couple of right in. She come right by the decoys. Perfect. And we heard it. They heard a turkey gobble when I'm right at the end of my calling, but I didn't hear him. But we waited another hour or so, but nothing. So we're going we're gonna to break real quick and we're going to go to the big get together with all the other kids. And uh, word is that Billy's grandson killed one, so Chris is coming to pick us up. And we'll ease out of here, but we're going to give it an hour or so and we'll be right back at it. So we hunted this morning, had a hen come in, and uh, now this is where they uh, are going to draw for the shotguns and they feed all the kids and we'll get to see what turkeys that were killed. I know for a fact Billy's youngest grandson has killed a turkey this morning, so we're excited to hear about that. And uh, I think we park right here, they said. Okay. Even in your wine? Yeah, this is my What's that? What's that? Tell us the story. <laughs> nice job. No, not to. Uh, tell me a story. Where's Cooper at? Go get Cooper. You know, unless you want to tell your story. Uh -huh. Look at them oh, spurs, yeah. yeah. I'll right. tell it. <laughs> uh, boom! Uh, Did he miss? Yeah. Oh, no! I thought maybe it's 35, 40, and we, <laughs> after we popped the blind out, I looked, I'm like, that ain't no 35 or 40, and uh -huh. we got to look at it. Uh -huh. it off at 25 yards. Yeah. yeah. They went back and watched on the video, and it was, Thank you so much. his head was right here, and that's right yes, where the shot is. went. Making fun of your brother. But he gobbled. He gobbled. I hit it right yeah. his head. Oh. He gobbled, <laughs> and his head shot out. Coop. Was he excited? Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of him and everything. Did he come in good and he gobbled good? Awesome. Ten this yards, was, wasn't he? Ten yards. Well, I should have known with your grandpa. Yeah. The decoy. The decoy. <laughs> we got him ten yards, didn't we? Uh, you got blood on my decoy. That's a good day. That is a good day. Yeah, he's back in. Awesome. Show him which one's yours. You which don't know yours? now, Because we changed it. It's this one right here. Awesome. Yes, it is. Yeah, I had to. Somebody else uh, took the spot over there. Very cool. We got one here with six beers. Six beers? Yes, Look at that. They have six beers. Jane. Look at that. This is the young lady that killed him. Did you kill that? Jane killed him. That is awesome. <laughs> Did he gobble a lot when he come in? Yeah, there was, was four other, or there was three other ones with him, too. Was there? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty fun to kill. Did you know he had that many beer? No. <laughs> He's like the third to the biggest. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? Look at all their beers. I know, that's insane. Crazy. Yeah.
And then you got one more right in here? Oh, there it is, right there. Little bitty thing. Just starting out. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. We got some with pretty good hooks, too. One on this one right here. That one's big. Yeah. 28 pounds. Are you mounting it? That is so awesome. This is even my first top. That's your very first one? Oh, that's, even, that's even way cool. Looks like we got 12 so far. That's a pretty good morning. That's a pretty good morning. First morning, there's like 13 big long dudes killed by these kids. This is too cool now. And there's some giant turkeys. I mean, look at the spurs on that thing. Look at that. That is a big turkey. Does anyone, anybody want to draw for guns? Here we go. We're going to have seven really, really happy people. We've already got, what do we got, 13 birds? I believe that's right. So we already got 13 really happy hunters. Now if you want a gun, that's really going to make your day, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're going, to get, we're going to get ready. We're going to go right over here, and I'm going to, I'm going to draw out your name. Okay? Anybody here named Heat? Felt camp? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're the first one to win a 410. Congratulations, buddy. Pick out the one you want, they're not all exactly the same. Make your name, draw, come on, pick out the one you want. Which one you want? Want that one? Okay, that one's taken. Got it. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Made some luck to rub off on you now, huh? Yeah, there it is. All right, guys, right here, this this far ridge right here, my brother Tim rode by here this morning. And he saw eight or ten turkeys, and he said there was two strutters definitely up there. Okay. He didn't have any binoculars, but he said he saw two fanned out. And this farm right here is 370 acres, so there's, you know, it's almost a mile to the west and three quarters of a mile back to the east. But I bet you, though, with the way the wind's blowing, I bet you they're off in one of these hollers right here. I'd say so. You might can sneak right out this line. Go right and down And use those ditches, you okay. know, to get out through there. But. Okay. We're, we know they're here, we just gotta get on them. You ready, little man? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. we'll just get our stuff out and we'll go right down through here. Don't you think go right by that plow right yeah, there? Chisel plow and right we go, there. okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get our stuff, little man. Right, okay. Okay. Good luck, guys. Okay. Let's go this way a little bit. Okay, everybody. About an hour ago, Chris saw a group of turkeys. Decoy, where we? There you go. That, that, that'll spin. That's good. Yeah, okay. Get all our stuff. Get right there in that tree, okay? Grab the decoy bag. Right here. Just step right there, okay?
the feeling. I mean, I barely heard it if I did, but it, in this wind, it could be off the hill, you know. They come over that hill and it spins like that, and they're going to run to it. We're not going home alone. Oh. Are you kidding me? Did you get it? Yeah, barely though. Oh, okay. No. We ain't going home empty handed. No. Bro, that was so unexpected. I looked up and they were like right there. Yeah, I was just looking down, just like thinking about like, oh, this is gonna be a, such a long drive home. And then you were like, Cole land in front of us. I was like, what? And then they were just there. <laughs> I got. <laughs> got enough. <laughs> I was literally just like being like sad that we had to leave empty handed and being like, uh huh, this is gonna be such a sad long drive home. And then I, and then that's just, <laughs> and then just two big gobblers go over there. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> Why couldn't they have gobbled? I looked up and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to push the record button and I couldn't get it Cause, to go. Cause as soon as I looked up, I just said two big heads coming over the, and I just instantly cocked my gun and just turned this on so fast. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't believe we just killed one. I, I predicted this. Everybody? I predicted it would be the second spot today. Hey, here, you hold that out there. Everybody? Okay, this oh. is the last spot. It's uh. This is literally, we're about it's to 12 leave. It's twelve twenty-five. We're fixing to go home, and I promise you, that is the worst kill, probably ever. But I couldn't. It's a it's a, it's a kill. I was shaking so bad. I was pushing the button. And it, it wouldn't. The, the red light wouldn't come on. And then they're over there, and the little man's head. And then I'm like, there they are, right there. I was like, kill that thing. I, I hope I got it. So. If he didn't turn it, like, I was scared I wasn't going to kill him because all this stuff. And then he turned around, like, last second, I'm like, call. And he, he barely, he was barely moving it, but I kind of just timed it. <laughs> I you just killed the Missouri turkey. <laughs> Chris, brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I uh, promise next time I'll get better footage for you. Yeah, that was a little <laughs> unexpected. Hang on, let me get this right. And, uh. Just keep bopping up there. <laughs> Go, you'll get it. Okay, let's see if my predictions are correct. I don't really care if they are. That's a long beard. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, oh yeah. Big old beard. Look at the beard. <laughs> we did it, little man. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's sharp. Yeah, watch him. Don't let him spread. Make sure there's no hidden double beard. Just to... no double beard. I'm telling you. We did it right, little man. Yeah. We just, we maneuvered from spot to spot. Yeah, every spot we were like, okay, where's our next move? Yeah. And then we just went over there perfectly. Uh, Look at you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you believe it? Oh, that was, that was. <laughs> Everybody, here's our, there's our setup. So there's there, and there we're back here. You can't already see us. And I'm kidding you not, at 12.30, at 12.30, we're going. Yeah. We're leaving. We got a line cut from. And all of a sudden, I look up and I was like, oh my gosh, they're like 20, this little roll in the hill, you couldn't see. And I kid you not, I'm still shaking. I was pushing that button, and it was, the red light would come on. I was like, dang it, man. Oh, Usually they don't, they don't get that much blood, but. Yeah. I love it. Nemo Youth Turkey Hunt, all these kids. My gosh, how yeah. fun is this? Chris, we did it, brother. We did it. Uh, hold him up. Hold him up. He's as tall as you are. I know. <laughs> yeah. I ain't believing it. I ain't believing it. Do you remember a while ago? I said. You may have heard one. I said I heard a cry. I said, little man, I can't promise, but I think I heard one. I think I heard one. Yeah. I oh, believed it. Okay. Well, we done. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You know what you call that? What's that? That's what you call service. Yeah. <laughs> This is for you right here. Uh, he put the 410 on him, didn't he? Yeah. Huh? Get each other up. All right, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Getting it done. Persistence paid off today, didn't yeah. it, brother? We just yeah. didn't quit. That's right. We got him, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hold that thing up and show him. This thing's as long as he is. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Look at it, it's just about as long as he is. Put him next to my foot. Up to my neck. Oh, that's my neck. Awesome, <laughs> uh, yeah. Tim rode by here this morning, saw them turkeys out on that hill, two strutters, and y'all snuck in on them and got it done, didn't you? Yeah. So literally, remember I told you folks that they said they seen the turkeys right there? So we've been playing cat and mouse and got to, so let me show you. We were sitting right there. Yeah. And at 12.25, we're leaving at 12.30. The decoy was literally about right there. And they popped over. They didn't come down the ridge this way. They come over. Because right there, you can't see them. Yeah. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm trying to get that button on. <laughs> and he smoked him, dude. I'm proud. Yeah, brother. Oh. He didn't spread very far all in one place. Yep. Mm. That's I another know. state down, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> show, <laughs> hey, show him your map. He, I, so I didn't know he'd done this. So a while ago he turns around and he's like, I gotta check off my map. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I just screenshotted a map and I've just been like marking it off. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he's got little check marks and stuff on there. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that didn't know how to do that. Yeah, no, I don't know how to do that. Okay. It's awesome, brother. Yeah. I said we load him up, go find mama. Yeah. Take some pictures, get something to eat. And then we go back to Oklahoma. That's seven and a half hours. Yep. <laughs> and I'll see you back in a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We'll be ready for it. Sorry, one body shot one of your turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Philip is going to be super proud of you. Yeah.